Luna. Shh. I'm here. Just trying to go to sleep. I can't. I just keep thinking about him. I know. I know. Mother? Yes. I have not slept well lately. Are you ill? Are troubled? I'm having bad dreams almost every night. Are you afraid of coming back to sleep? No. I lie awake, wondering what they mean. You sound just like your father. Grandfather, they used to dream a lot too. It brought nothing good. This too will pass. Remember your breathing, Runa. Feel the calmness of the forest. I am. I hit it. I heard you did. Father was much better when he was my age. <laughs> Is that what he told you? Yes. When you were, was your age, he loved nothing more than he loved his bow and arrows. He even kept it in bed with him at night. But uh, did that make him better? No. Let the bow rest, Runa. Do something else for a while. Something you truly enjoy. Well, I enjoy getting better. You sound just like him. time when father scared away at Angry Moose? No, not what I can remember. Father and I were out looking for honeybees when a big moose came out of the leaves right in front of us. And I think the moose was afraid too when he saw us. Big and angry and wanted to hit it with his horns. Do you know what happened next? <laughs> no, what happened next? <laughs> father spread his arm and shouted and my ears almost fell off. And he walked bravely towards the earth, clapping his hand and looking dead in the Scaring him oh. away! <laughs> Grandfather, do you think father is dead?
No. No, I do not. But many die on raids. And many come back. Your worries delayed. That is all. And when he does return, remember he did this for us. It has been two years. Baby will not recognize him when he returns. When I think of him, it's like I'm sitting for water or mist. I went on two raids when I was young. All I wanted was to return with a name and some wealth. And that I did. But it was hard one treasure I brought. It didn't last long. I had good eyes then. And my aim was true. And when I showed my silver to Ilva's mother, she let your grandmother have me for her husband. My good eyes gave me that. But then we settled down. We had you and his sisters. And my eyes started to fade. The Norns made my threat that way. That was the real price for my happiness. And I would gladly sacrifice it again, if I was given the choice. Let's go inside. Yes. <laughs> Runa, don't waste your love on the horse. We have to sell him. But you can't sell nut, Fadi. Go out fishing. Mother, maybe we all can go and fish. Come, Bothild. Bothild stays with me. I fell. Into the lake? How? I just fell. Nothing more. Just don't worry. I want what father said in his journey. He promised to bring back something for me. If he's able. I know he will bring something back for you, my dear. I miss him. Yes, I know. We all do. Well, clearly he's not missing us. If he did, he would have found a way back by now. No, no. 
Or maybe he's cold in the ground, but no one wants to talk about it. No, please. Where's mother? Mother. You're doing it again. What? S standing there, not doing anything. I cannot do a damn thing in my own home without you complaining about it. Do not deny it. Just stop it. Mother, what's happening? You're not alone in this, you know. We're here too, suffering just as much as you are. You do not know my mind, child. Because you're silent as a fucking sound! Don't you dare use that tone to me! You're thinking of all, aren't you? Don't you have chores to do? They're done. How about yours? Go outside. Go to your sister. No. Go outside! I want to talk about father. Go to your sister! Because you never do anymore! What do you want me to say? That I miss him? That I still love him? Do you want me to say that I believe that he'll come riding on a pitch black stallion? Well, he won't. He won't. He has left us. He has left us here to rot, like outcasts. Can't you see that it's he who has left us? At least father tried, but... Maybe you do want to leave. Then just go. Take your bow and go. And leave me here. <laughs> Going. Hunting. I saw something today. What did you see? When I fell into the water, it was like I was dreaming. But I know I was awake. You believe that you 
what you saw was an omen. Yes. Tell me. I saw mother, you, and Bothild. You know what? It's probably nothing. It's getting harder to remember the more I try, so. Are you sure it was nothing? There was something else. Afterwards, at the far shore, I saw a flock of birds lie dead on the ground. But I can't understand why. Bad omens and dead birds. It sounds as if you hit your head when you fell wrong. Do not start looking for omens in everything you see. It will only lead to sadness and worries. Mother, hurry. Put it. Stay. A warrior. Where did you find him? In the far woods, close to Nalunda. We must save him. No. He can barely move. We must help him. You should have left him in the forest, Runa. Take him back before he wakes up. My father would have been ashamed if he had you now. His fever is very high. He might die tonight, or in a couple of days. There is not much we can do. But there's a chance he might live. I'm not sure. Elder flowers can help. Thank you. Hide his weapons. We put them in the goat shelter. It's empty anyways. I do not want him in the house. Who is she? We don't know. <sighs> What is he saying? He said something about gold on the way here. I hope he will survive. But the fever is a threat to him if he's forced to sleep outside. He looks like a traveling man. Maybe he knows something about father. Or he'll cut our throats in our sleep. Putin, can you please fetch me some water? No, that's enough. You don't get near him again. Freya and Odin 
and with them told, rode the great steed Sleipnir. The horse that fell and broke his bones, the god sat down beside him. Blood to blood they sang, and bone to bone, the great steed Sleipnir stood. Sure, drink some water. Where are you going? Going to the market. With Alvas? You must watch your sister. She must not know. To kettle. So, it is. Hmm. I was not sure you'd come. I haven't seen you much at the market lately. People miss your furs and skins. almost began to believe that the woods had swallowed your family whole. We've been busy. I see. Must be hard with your husband gone. Does uh, Reinhold still live? He does. Stop an old goat. Surely it will outlive us all, don't you think? I thought your uh, daughters would come. No, not this time. This was your husband's horse, was it not? It was. I know you are sad. But I sold the skins. And I brought this for you. Can I try it? Yes. 
It's beautiful. Thank you, Mother. Did you remember my pork, Magnilt? Anything for you, Reynolds? Sweet milk. Thank you. Blind Lord. I am. Are you thirsty? Yes. Rulfsson from Gelstad. I'm Rangold Ingvarsson from this shithole. Rackmalt. I traveled with your son. You were with him on the raid? Yes. Does he live? The last time I saw him, he was alive. And that was just about a week ago, give or take. We're done with water now, don't you think? I could use some ale as well. You must be Runa. It was Runa who brought you here and mended your wounds. I mean your death. did that to you? It was my former shipmates. <laughs> but I shook them off. I shook them off. Your shipmates? There were 24 of us when we left Akru two years ago. First we sailed across the Eastern Salt to Kurland. But we had no luck there. Oh, we, we went far on the rivers of Gadariki. We traded with the locals. They had strong defenses, so we kept the peace. When we 
winter came, we served the Lord as his God, and he paid in silver, but it was not enough. <laughs> oh, we decided to take our leave, try our luck down in the south in the Slavic lands, but others had been there before us. We went further down south, and we came upon a Frankish market. And we fell over it like hungry wolves. <laughs> we were foolish men, poor. We'd never seen such riches before. So we lost our heads. <laughs> we forgot to keep watch. <laughs> we were ambushed by the Franks. They were three times as many as we were. And they were well armed. We fought for our lives. They're on the Frankish shores. When we got away, we barely had enough men to man the oars. We lost half of our men and all of our loot. If we would all have died if it wasn't for you, are and his bow. <laughs> and then we set sail north. And eventually we got back to familiar shores. And we buried those who had died from their wounds at sea. And that night, one of the crew found a fallen tree. With roots sticking up into the air, like fingers grasping for the sky. those roots, there hung big fat golden rings. It was like a gift from the gods. We dug underneath the tree and we found an old burial site, a mound full of treasure. You are told us to, you are told us to leave it all in the ground, that it was a foul thing to steal from the dead. But we did not listen. We divided the treasure amongst ourselves. In the end, not even your Archidrus is taking his share. We slept that night, dreaming we were kings. Then in the morning, everything had changed. So, what happened? started attacking one another, wanting all the gold for themselves. You are and I, we fled. But I was still wounded from the battle with the Franks, so he told me to run ahead, and I did. The bastards nearly caught me anyway. <laughs> they took all my gold and silver and I threw it into the mud. That made them forget about me for a while, let's put And what happened to your father? Later, I saw Yuar. And he was still unarmed. He was keeping his pursuers at bay. Before we got separated, he shouted at me. And he told me to meet him here at his home. He and I were the only ones who knew how to get here. He has not returned yet. Bruna, what are you doing? I should go look, friend. No, you're not going anywhere. Bruno, your father knows these woods. I believe he wants to make sure he's not being followed before coming home. Fine. How do we know that you are telling the truth? That you won't betray us the moment you are gets back with the gold. Did you not lose your own share? You're right. It's wise of you to ask me these things. But when you are returns, he will tell you that I'm a friend. He will tell you that I can be trusted. There is one thing you can say. Swear it. By your ring. In 
in the name of Thor. I swear that my words bear truth. Now I think the two of you should get some sleep and leave these two broken men to do what they do best. Brag about yesterday, joke about today, and uh, forget about tomorrow. find a tree. Well, oh. I don't want to risk tripping over any of the sleepers. I can't see a damn thing in here. <clears throat> well, I need to find a tree as well. If you if you get to my age, you'll find that old men need to pee quite often during the night. But this blind old man didn't, did not want to trip and fall over some sleeping women, so he, he built himself a piss door. Follow me. Dagmar. Dagmar. Thanks to you and your family. We have very little to spare. If you can walk, you can work for your food. I will, gladly. Good. Then you should help me with my shoes. You work hard for your family. strong. You are knows that. Your mother is... Magnil does her best. She tries to keep you all safe and sound. I can tell. Yeah, she's a sweet woman, isn't she? Just kind-hearted, polite, generous. All smiles and giggles. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like an orphan. Bothild keeps playing and singing, but she is just as lonely in this world as I am. Only she doesn't realize it. Mother lost it when father left. Sometimes when we speak, she just drifts away, just saying nothing, hearing nothing. Do you think she stopped caring about you? No. No, she's just sad and worried. And she fears being unable to provide for us. And she fears that I'll leave her. Do you want to?
Have you said anything to her? She knows that I need her to be a mother. You know, your father talked a lot about you. But he also told me that you're very good with the ball. You're good. If you care to teach me some of your tricks with that later, I'll teach you how to use this. Maybe it's too soon. I mean, you were bedbound just a few days ago. Well, I'm not too weak to work for you. <laughs> I get rusty like an old tool if I refrain from practice. Long grip. You don't want, yes, you don't want to get hit on your fingers. And now, ready. Side. There. You have the right mind for it. Teach me more. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you need to be fast. All right, okay. Again? <laughs> Someone say something. What is? What? Please. Thieves. 
Gör. Don't feel shame. We did what we had to do. Now you're a rich man. You've earned it. Feels more like a burden than a reward. It should feel like a relief. For you and your family. And you saved my life. When those arrows flew, <laughs> I've never seen archery like that before. You should take pride in it. Torolf, I believe you are need some peace and quiet. All right. How do you feel? You look pale. Wayfaring stranger, while you are sleeping, vivid your watches over the grove of ash tree. Woo! Woo! Something seems to have scared away the animals. Father seems different. You think so? Yeah. Something is bothering him. I just got home. He's been through a lot. He's very tired. No, it's something else. Yeah, what do you mean? I don't know yet.
Best defense is to not be where your enemy's weapon is. Now you try it. Hit my leg. See, you were exposed. You need to be faster. Good. But it's not over yet. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on then. You need to defend yourself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Torolf. How are your injuries? Getting better for each day. Good. We would like you to leave us now. As you can understand, we need to come together as a family. And Joar needs to get some rest and put your adventures behind him. I hope you understand, brother. I understand. You lost your share of the treasure, but you did not lose your friend. Brother. Farewell. May you have a safe journey home. Not my friend. I can't believe it's sending you away. You're not fully healed yet. Don't worry about me. Farewell, Lorena. I hope we meet again soon. <laughs> You've yet to teach me how to master the bow. You're gonna need two good arms for that. <laughs> In time. In time. Brother, you're back. 
Indeed I am. Hello. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Runa, is it not? Sigrun? I almost didn't recognize you. Is your family here too? Yes. Yes, they are. No. I haven't heard a single word from the ones who went on that journey. Your father? Did he return? Is he well? Yes, he's uh, back. That's good news. I must feel great not being alone in the woods anymore. But I hear that you are good providing for your family. <laughs> Maybe things will change now. Did you ever have any luck on this trip? No, not really. Oh. At least he's back. Oh, I know someone you should meet. Remember my son, Ari? He's grown up to be a beautiful young man. He's here somewhere. She'll go and get him before some other unmarried woman does. Here, have some more. Birds lay dead all over the crops. But the worst part of it was the stench. The smell of intestines and vomit, rotting flesh. I almost puked. My sister says something strange too, further up north. She says there was someone amongst the trees watching her. She had her husband with her. Armed with a good spear. That didn't make the stranger go away. No day to say anything. He just stood there, watching. It was surely one of those Christian priests. They are very strange indeed. And they seldom fuck, I've heard. There's no priest. Both my sister and her husband are scared, and they do not scare easily, I tell you. Suddenly, her husband ran to us, a man, spare point first, scare him off. But he has slowly turned his back on them, waiting. What happened? The arse digger just stood there. It was a madman. And he smelled, my sister. Smell? As if he was rotting. As he was watching? Is anyone there?
Who goes there? Your hat. Do you want to dance it? <laughs> yeah. The fire is dead. Someone's been here. Who's there? Grandfather, it's us. Open the door. Get in. He may still be close. What are you talking about, Ragnald? Could it be the outlaws or thieves trying to steal the gold? I had a nasty stench. I almost threw up. And he was dead silent. And he tried to break in. Thank be the gods I was already drunk or I would have wet my pants. Was he alone? I don't even know if it was a he. What? Maybe it wasn't a human being at all. Don't speak like that, Ragnald. It brings bad luck. It must have been an animal. No. Look at the marks! I would have liked having thought of his dinner. We should take a look around. And left. Are you not eating? I 
need to get out. All that? Strong, brave daughter. So. I know there's something you're not telling us. I wish you would have stayed with us. I want my father back, not this stupid bag of gold. Not gold. It's land. I needed to take this risk, Rona. There's no future here for you or your sister dwelling in these woods like wolf and bear. Well, now that you have this bag of gold, and yet you stand here as if there's no sun in the sky. I know you. I know there's something you're not telling me. We did wrong, stealing from that mound, and now we suffer for it. Maybe it's just in my head. Nightmares. Guilt. Maybe I will feel better in time. But we have time. Father gave it to me. Do not lose it. It's gonna come back. Oh. 
Why is Putilt? I I don't know. Putilt. 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 My gold, they didn't care. We lost the chat and they banged into the woods. They will find us up like cattle. Leave me here, let me go. No. No. We'll stay together and fight. I'll just kill one of them. The warriors, Runa, seized the killers. But now they're scattered. They will take everything we have, but will they not stop there? That's why we must leave before they rally together. There's their foul stench again. The two of you, go inside now. I think you can hear them. This is madness. I know when to stand and fight, and when to be wise. But right now we have to be wise. Run the axe and the spear. Hurry!
Now we are trapped like a moose in a pit. We should all get drunk. How many are they? A dozen? They're more than they should be. What do you mean? We can't win this. We can survive this. We just need to make them believe it's not worth the fight. That we have nothing left to steal! I think they already know that we don't have any more of the treasure. They want revenge. Revenge for what? I saw Sven outside. He handled the ore next to mine for almost two years. He was a friend. Well then, talk to him! Make him tell the others to stop! I don't think he can hear me anymore. Why? Speak! No! Don't say it. I saw him die, Rune. By the mound. The morning after we found the treasure. He was cut down and he could not have lived. They are up there younger. They're Draugr. The living dead. I can't hear them. Have they left? Father. He did not know. Maybe he's still alive. Maybe he saw what they were and ran away. Here. It's the treasure! They sent it! Johan, all he ever did was to save us. All he ever did was for our sake. Move him! Dunita. If they were human, they would have lit the house aflame by now. They don't want us to get away that easily. Don't speak like that in front of both hilts. The gathering outside the door. Close your eyes and stay close to me. Soon. We'll wake up amongst the gods, and Father will be there, waiting for us. <gasps> Go to Grandfather! Valhall, sitting at Odin's table. Sisramir, and join Freya's people. There will be an abundance of meat and they'll nothing to fear. It will all be over soon. The ones who die in battle will end up in the halls of the gods. You know these bodies. In the halls of the gods, there is music and singing and beautiful crafts and friendly faces. And there's pork and lots of it. You will know I love you. You have to get out through the back door. Now.
I can't leave you, brother. Go with him. I'll save you a good seat. to me.
Mother, we will face them, and we will fall. But we will meet Putin, like mother and father, and we will stand together again, as a family. Take this spear. Cover my left side. Cover my left side. The common... This is it. Ha <laughs> 
Can you still hear me? Oh
没。